Hey folks, welcome back to the Beer Ranch Garage. And of course, as always, if it's your first time, welcome to the Beer Ranch Garage. Um, I want to make a quick video today on uh, how to use the uh, very commonly found inline spark testers to uh, uh, verify if you're getting spark on uh, the um, these type of Audi VW engines. Um, you know, it's a very simple procedure and a very simple like uh, uh, thing to do, but uh, and there's a million videos on YouTube on it, but none that I found that show how to use the uh, the, the tool with the uh, the coil setup with the Audis and VW. So what I'm talking about is the very uh, commonly uh, um, available inline spark tester, uh, and uh, this is actually like a universal application. This particular one comes from OEM Tools. Um, but yeah, really quick. I was trying to diagnose a uh, no start issue with this car uh, a day or two ago, and I knew I had air, I knew I had fuel, timing was right, um, and then the only issue that was uh, I had to verify spark. So I used this because of the fact that Audi uh, kind of has these captive coils, what I call captive coils. Um, it just uh, kind of hard to get this in there um, the way it's supposed to be uh, while still having the coils in the car or on the engine. So not a big deal. The way to, to do this, if you have like a no start condition, on this car, I've already pulled the uh, fuel pump fuse. So it's not gonna start anyway, cause it's not getting fuel. But this is a very easy way to, to uh, uh, confirm that you do have spark. So the easiest way to do this is to remove the coil packs and then remove all your ignition coils all right so it doesn't matter which uh which uh cylinder you use we'll just use number one for uh for the ease of demonstration you take your uh, your tool, you plug this little doohickey into the coil, and it's actually a nice and little uh, um, snug fit. Then you take this guy and you put it into your spark plug. So on your uh, spark plug, you see it's kind of recessed in there. All right, on your spark plug, not sure how far down you can see, but obviously your spark plug is recessed in there. The way you do this is you you align that that boot on the plug as well as you can and then use a tool like your screwdriver or a tool like uh, these wire uh, removers like that and just kind of All right, you'll hear the uh, little click when uh, the boot goes on the plug, on the spark plug, and then you go ahead and just take your uh, coil, you pop it in there, and then uh, disconnect your coil to your uh, harness. Now, all you're trying to do here is see if you're getting, um, getting sparks. It doesn't really matter if you don't have any coils over there because they're all captive to the one harness. So if this guy's getting spark, these are all getting, very likely those are all getting spark. Again, uh, remember I got the uh, fuel pump uh, fuse pulled, so the engine will crank. Uh, the, you'll see this light hopefully light up to indicate sparks coming, but it's not going to start because it's not getting fuel. So I'll show you how that works.
And as you saw, it was, uh, you could see the little uh, flash of light, obviously indicating that the power is getting there and it's sparking. All right, so um, alternatively, if you for whatever reason wanted to have all the other coils in the uh, in the um, in the holes to separate these coils, all you'd need to do is take off this um, plastic uh, retainer, and then that would free up the wiring for your individual coils. So you would be able to, be able to have the tool on there and all the other coils in the uh, spark plug holes. All right. Well, I hope uh, I hope that was a little bit informative. Um, if you're not familiar with how these work, I hope I give you a little bit of an idea how to do it with uh, with this type of coil setup on, on these vehicles. So please give me a thumbs up uh, and uh, consider subscribing. Have a great day and uh, see you on the next video. Take care.